Okay, so we just spent time talking about how terrible research is, right? It's not reproducible. Or we ha we're going through a reproduction crisis in, re in research. Results are uh, nebulous, and methods are especially nebulous. Results are pretty clear, but how they got those results is usually pretty difficult to figure out. If you go and look at a bioinformatics paper, uh, just go into Google Scholar and find some sort of paper. A lot of times there isn't great methods and I am guilty of this when I first started bioinformatics. Um, my methods I'm sure could be much much more clear than they were uh, when I published the paper. And so I'm on the crusade though, on the reproducible research crusade. And so we're going to talk about some of the ways that, or at least one really good way that we can make sure that our R code uh, is published, reproducible, others can look at it and understand what we are doing. Uh, so what we're going to use for this class is a package built into R called R Markdown. And so what R Markdown is, is as you can see here, it's a package that helps you create dynamic analysis documents that combine code, your output, such as your results, uh, and pros. Pros being, you know, you can speak about what's happening in your document, kind of narrate it. Um, and so uh, it's great because it works interactively with our studio, which we're using uh, for this course. Um, you can reproduce your analyses. Uh, you can share code with others. This is a big thing. And so um, I've done some some of my work uh, previously research that I do in my lab is uh, I work um, on space biology. So hence you see, you know, there's just NASA stuff all over. I'm wearing a NASA shirt right now. Uh, so my research focuses on how plants grow in the space environment. So increased radiation, no gravity, all these weird things that happen in space. And plants, you know, they don't have a brain, so they're not able to be like, oh, I understand this. They just kind of react, right? So. Part of these analyses that we've done or these experiments that we've done on the International Space Station is we grow plants up there and see how they respond uh, in, on the space station compared to regular gravity. Well, in this research, I worked collaborati uh, collaboratively um, with a couple of researchers in Spain, um, Raul Herranz and uh, Javier Medina, who are great researchers uh, in Madrid, Spain. Um, and we both had two different bioinformatics pipeline that we wanted to run on our data that we got back, our, our gene expression data from these plants. And so um, it's nice to be able to have a annotated code so if they want to reproduce my results because I did them independently, obviously I didn't fly to Spain or they didn't fly here every time we were doing some sort of analyses. Um, it's nice to be able to kind of package your code up write what you did uh, and then you know ship it over to them and say hey look these are the cool results that I found using this analysis and explain what you did give them the code give them the results all in one nice document um, so yeah so it's our markdowns uh, really good for collaboration um, and um, as we'll see there's options to actually turn these into data products which is important right and so um, you want to Doing science doesn't mean anything unless you communicate it to the world, right? So if you find this really cool gene that is responsible for, uh, you know, causing cancer, you want the world to know that, right? And so you need to be able to communicate your results and make nice, understandable data and things like that to portray to the world. And that's never more evident than right now, um, going through this COVID pandemic. Um, we see a lot more public health data than we ever have, right? And so you see these maps that come up and shows the United States and which states are going up in cases, what states are going down in cases, or county by county, or a world map, you know, the United States is dropping cases, but the UK is going up, or et cetera. Um, and so a lot of communicating that data, that public health data, um, your genetic data, et cetera, is really important. And so our markdown is also able uh, to help in that regard by we can make uh, HTML documents, PDFs, Word files, slideshows, etc. There's a lot of different things we can do. We're not going to get into everything because that could be like two courses worth of stuff, but we're going to get into the really basic stuff of um, how to make very nice um, reports. Um, so there are some books um, that you can purchase on Amazon. Um, 
I think I have this one. Yes, I do. Um, pretty good, especially if you want to get it more into it. You can make all sorts. You can make presentations, like PowerPoint style presentations, but much more fine tunable if you're into that. Like web pages, you can make a journal article. Uh, like there's templates for that. Um, it's pretty. It can be. There's a lot. <laughs> it's a, it's a big, a big uh, package or big, yeah, package for R. Um, don't worry about installation if you're doing this on Praxis because um, we'll have everything pre-installed. But if you're running this, uh, want to run this on your own installation or your own um, computer with your own R instance installed, um, the installation is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Install packages and then R Markdown. Um, this is the easiest way to do it. It'll probably say, hey, you need some dependencies, so you ought to install those dependencies, but R should do that for you. Um, and that's about it. So um, that's kind of an introduction to what R Markdown is. Uh, really cool software. We're gonna get into the weeds here in a minute. Um, so like I said, if you wanna learn more, um, they have examples up here uh, of cool stuff that, uh, that you can do. Um, Let's quick take a peek at this. So yeah, so like <clears throat> you can make these interactive documents. So we're going to use our pubs. Um, so you can see that um, this is all made in, in our markdown. Um, except I don't know what it's not clicking. <laughs> good, good uh, document there. Um, it all depends on, you know, uh, those not found man markdown update your stuff here. Jeez. <laughs> um, but yeah, so all these things here, uh, these maps and heat maps and all this stuff, we can, this is all markdown stuff. Um, so we'll get into it uh, and I will see you in the next lecture.